Lead poisoning. It can permanently stunt the child's growth mentally and physically, and it can cause the premature death of adults. Now, we're used to blaming all of this on lead paint, but did you know 10 to 20 percent of lead cases are caused by poison pipes? Fox 5's Elizabeth Leamy joins us now with a warning about contaminated drinking water. 40 million U.S. residents drink water that contains dangerous amounts of lead. Babies are even more at risk because their formula is made with water. In fact, 40 to 60 percent of infant lead poisonings can be traced back to poison pipes. The water in Ben Unruh's well is pure and sweet, but the water that comes out of his faucets is laced with lead. The point was it was getting contaminated once it entered the house, and we have the test results to, to prove that. That's because the copper pipes in Ben's house are connected with lead solder. And you'll see it at every joint throughout the entire house, and that's the culprit. Test results show the tap water in the Unruh house contains 50% more lead than the Environmental Protection Agency considers safe. That's frightening for a family with three young daughters. You're talking about something that is tasteless, odorless, and colorless. You don't even know it's there. The Unruhs found out through a fluke in the law. They were required to get a water test to qualify for a government-backed mortgage when they bought the house a year ago. That test is only required for houses with wells. Everybody else is on their own. For other folks, they will never know. And years later, they may always wonder why their child didn't do quite as well or was more irritable. Uh, whatever the case may be. The EPA has made a huge push to warn people about lead paint, but there is far less public education about lead pipes. We've tried to piggyback on some of the education materials that the uh, lead paint uh, program has used uh, to try and make sure people realize that there are other exposures. It's actually illegal to sell a house without warning the buyers about lead paint hazards. But there is no such law about lead pipes. The biggest threat in terms of lead poisoning is from lead-based paint. Uh, the lead in drinking water is also a concern, and the exposure is particularly a concern for, for children and infants. Even so, it wasn't until 1988 that the federal government began requiring lead-free pipes and solder. And in a classic case of government doublespeak, lead-free actually means pipes can contain up to 8% lead and solder 0.2%. And of course, the law only applies to homes built and plumbing replaced after 1988. But there are still places in the country where there are is exposure to lead through drinking water. So what's the government doing to protect people who live in older homes? In 1997, large water suppliers had to start chemically treating their water to make it less corrosive and less likely to leach lead from customers' pipes. Every year, they collect samples. As long as 90% of them have low lead levels, the program is considered a success. Who wants to think that their home is going to harm them? The Coalition to End Childhood Lead Poisoning points out that the government's drinking water protections leave plenty of loopholes. We sometimes have a false sense of security in our homes on many levels. People think things will never happen to them in their own home. Which homes are most at risk? Historic houses that haven't been extensively updated. Houses built before 1930 were likely to have lead pipes inside, plus lead supply lines leading to the water main in the street. Lead solder is much more common. It wasn't banned until 1988, and some plumbers cheated and used it after that. If your house was built more than 15 years ago, chances are lead solder was used to connect the copper pipes. Believe it or not, brand new houses are another big concern. It takes about five years for a natural film to form and coat the inside of the pipes. That film eventually protects the water from the 8% lead that's still allowed in pipes. Multi-unit apartment buildings are the other worry. Why? Unlike individual houses where you can flush lead out of the pipes by running your water for a while, apartment buildings are too big. Often flushing doesn't work. Unless your house is one of the rare ones with none of these risk factors, you might want to get your water tested. We collected samples from five different homes and had them tested for lead.
Home Test Metz Labs of Waldorf analyzed the samples for us. Healthy drinking water should contain no more than 15 parts per billion of lead. Sure enough, the oldest house we tested, built in the late 1700s, had the highest lead levels. The next worst was a multi-unit apartment house built in 1942. We also confirmed that running the water for a while helped flush lead out of the pipes. Certainly we have to pay much more attention to this than we have. As for Ben Unruh, for now he's installed a special distilling machine to make sure his family has safe drinking water. The rule in the house is you only get a drink of water from that faucet, from that special spigot. Eventually he plans to replace these poisonous pipes. So the question is, how do you protect yourself? First of all, never drink or cook with water from the hot water tap. Hot water leaches more lead from your pipes. Instead, flip it over to the cold side and heat up any water you're going to need, especially for making baby formula. First thing in the morning and after work, when nobody's used any water for a while, you need to flush your pipes. How do you do it? Simply by running the water at each faucet until it runs really cold, which means you're getting water from the water main in the street. It can take as little as five seconds, but as much as five minutes to flush the lead out. And finally, if you plan on using water filters, make sure you get some that are certified by NSF International or the Water Quality Association. Brian, Tracy. Elizabeth, thank you. Now you saw her get some water tested. If you'd like to do the same thing, it costs between 20 and 100 bucks, and you can go to our website. It's fox5dc.com. Click on Fox 5 Investigates, and we'll link you with a certified lab. You can also get blood tests for your children if you are concerned.